Last but not least, Nintendo released the final trailer for Tears of the Kingdom. And I'm gonna be real with you. Okay. My convictions wavered. Okay. No, oh no. Nothing has made me want to buy a Switch OLED and bulldoze through the first um no Breath of the Wild like this trailer. Um mm. uh so even after I went back to like uh deciding, okay, you know, I'm gonna wait. I'm actually I'm a, I, you know, I, I you know, re uh what's, what's the word I look for? I don't know. I just I went back to my original idea. I was like, okay, I'm not gonna get it. Uh, they almost had me. They almost had me. <laughs> but I'm not gonna get it. And um I'm gonna just wait for the new one. But for a second, I was gonna be like, okay, but I'm gonna play Tears of the Kingdom first. But I but I was like, no, I can't do this. I can't let them trick me. Okay. <laughs> I gotta wait for the next console and I gotta play Breath of the Wild first. They almost had me. Now here's the thing though. I cannot make any promises about not watching people play it because I I got to. Right, so right. I'm for sure, uh, I'm for sure gonna spoil it myself. I, I I did the same thing with Breath of the Wild because I didn't know when I was gonna be able to play that because that came out when I was in high school, so you know I was broke. So, but now that I have right. money and I have the potential to get a Switch and get Breath of the Wild and get Tears of the Kingdom, um, it, it's it's different now because it's like I know I'm gonna get it eventually. Right. It's just like but, how soon but, eventually. But we don't know when that next console is coming out, so I can't. Like if I wanted to, I could try to avoid it, but I don't know if I want to. Mm, that's real the trailer was so good the music oh my god it was so good <laughs> see me I'm fully invested like I've had my Switch in, for years now and it is so dearly beloved to me because it was a Christmas present as soon as the Tears of the Kingdom Switch releases I'm getting it <laughs> wow. what are you going to do with the old one uh, yeah. I'm going to give it to my girlfriend um, so we can play video games together because she's always wanted to Switch but and her brother had one it broke um so yeah, and he doesn't even play it. So I'm like, I'll give you mine while I'm on the fancy new Zelda one. E he e he. Yeah, I was like, they almost had me. I saw that switch and I was like, ooh, ooh. It's gorgeous. I missed out on the Animal Crossing one because I was broken. I didn't have a job at that point. Now I have a job and adult money to spend. So <laughs> that Tears of the Kingdom edition switch is mine. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, let's talk about what we saw in the trailer. So there were several instances in this trailer where we saw. NPCs fighting each other alongside Link. Excuse me. Um, that uh, that leads a lot of people to assuming that we may be like recruiting companions along our you know journey to fight beside us. Mm. But um, also one of the moments where they show like Sidon fighting alongside Link, it does look like that might be something similar to like the um, Divine Beast boss fights where like um, you know you have one of the 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 champion descendants fight alongside you because in the background right. in the background it looks like it's like a Kind of like a dungeon, but one, but on one of the floating islands. Mm. But a dungeon that's specifically, you know, water related. Um, so it might just be you don't. Yeah. You don't necessarily, you know, recruit people and bring them alongside you, or at least not the champions, and they just come and follow you during those specific, you know, story beats like they did in Breath of the Wild. But either way, it looks like at least the like other NPCs, based on certain shots from the trailer, you might be able to like recruit them and have them fight alongside you. Which is very interesting, because that means that there's still a lot of stuff they just aren't showing us. And this is the last trailer, so we're not going to see anything until the game comes out, which is relatively soon. Right. Um, but he also... Uh, we also saw, saw some things that look like the titular Tears of the Kingdom. Um, so in one of the first few trailers, um, um, these things appeared in a mural, and it was seven of them. And it looks like we see six of them in this trailer. Um, Sidon has one on his glove. Uh... Tylon has one on his, uh, uh, what do you call it? Talon? Mm -hmm. Uh, Riju is wearing one as an earring. It's hard to see, but, you know, people went through these trailers and found it. <laughs> um, right. And Ganon has one in his forehead. Um, the last two, I assume, that we saw in the trailer are actually the same one, because we saw, uh, Zelda have one in her hand, but also wear it around her neck. And then we saw another character, um, also wearing the same one around her neck. So... Mm -hmm. You know, people are assuming that's like either from a flashback of like a previous in incarnation of the, you know, the of Hylia, or maybe it is just actually Hylia. Who knows? Yeah, which would be super cool. But um, heard so much about her. I've also, yet to see her actually. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, so the only like champion we didn't see was the um the Goron one, but in the part where all the champions are like running beside each other, you do see like, one of the Goron weapons like in the corner. So you, they're there. We just don't know who it is. So it seems like maybe the one from the last game might have like died or something. Oh no! <laughs> but 
uh, a lot of people are also assuming that the because the based on the colors of the the tiers, you know, Sidon has a blue one, Riju has like a amber one, um, and uh, uh, Tylon has a green one. You know, all representing the colors of their you know various species um, and elements. Right. And the the Goron one will probably be red, and the yeah. one in Ganon's head is red, so he might have killed the Goron and stole it. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. Or maybe he didn't kill him and he just like stole it before it ever got to him and now they're trying to like get it back. Right, right. But yeah, um, and there's probably gonna be one more for Link. Cause there's actually a shot of another character that is supposedly probably a Zonai, like touching mm. Zelda's shoulder. And they have one like on the back of their palm as well. Right. And I have a feeling I've never I didn't hear anybody make this assumption. But I think that that is, might be, like, the previous incarnation of the champion, or the hero, I mean. Yeah, that makes sense. And, um, that, but he's a, he's a Zonai, so it might, you know, show that, you know, they don't just reincarnate as Hylians. Right. Both, uh, Zelda and Link, which would be interesting. Um, but also in another right. shot, because, again, people went frame by frame in these, and I watched a couple of videos. Um, in the shot where they showed the Zonai's face, which it might not be the same Zonai, but they show one of the Zonai's face. In the background, you see that there are people with tears, but they don't look like the same like current champions. So, you know, supposedly that is taking that is like a flashback showing something that happened in the past, of like the previous you know champions fighting against Ganondorf before he got sealed away or something like that. And these might be those might be the people that actually sealed him away the first time. Right. And you know, people are assuming that you know Zelda went back into the past when she fell down that hole, which yeah. I feel like is probably true <laughs> yeah it would make sense because this, this wouldn't be the first time you know Zelda has you know played around with time right right um so yeah it looks good it looks so good yeah I'm just excited to see all the Triforce holders in one game again the it's it feels like it's been forever like actually it's been in 17 one... years yeah. since we've yeah. seen Ganon Ganondorf Zelda and Link together <laughs> in a right game. It's like all this lore about oh the they're they're the holders of the Triforce and they barely appear in games together. It, this is so refreshing and I am so excited. Finally get to see re rehydrate again. And he finally drunk, <laughs> he finally drunk some water. <laughs> I love that they call him that. I love it so dearly. But yeah, and like the official like post art they showed of Ganon, he had like a samurai sword, and you know that boss fight is gonna be lit. Oh yeah. And they they had a shot that showed. Ganon, but he looked different and his hair was like glowing and it was like people said it looks like demise i think that it's still Ganon because if you look at his clothes it's literally the exact same clothes but that's probably like his transformation and his transformation right. makes him look more like demise which i feel like makes sense yeah either that or like demise just fully takes control of Ganon somehow and that would be interesting because like you said you're talking about the very confusing timeline that you know was never really meant to make sense in the first place but, you know, Skyward Sword was re retroactively made the first game in timeline, and Breath of the Wild was meant to be the last. So right. I think what they're doing, actually, with Breath of the Wild is that they're, from this point on, they might try and have a cohesive timeline. Oh, wow. That would be exciting. Since this is being called out by the people making the game as, like, the end of the timeline, they're probably going to go from this point on. Other times, they obviously didn't. It, it, they weren't thinking about making a cohesive timeline. They were just making good games. So now right. they're probably going to be like, you know what? Let's try to actually make a cohesive timeline something that makes sense i hope so because as you heard my complaints about it earlier yeah i want the next zelda game to star zelda and for her to be the main playable character it is her legend the game's called the legend zelda and she's always just like princess peach link come save me your princess is in another castle right let let zelda actually be a playable character i was saying that's even if she's in the game to begin with because in uh the first one that came to mind was Oracle of Agents or Oracle Seasons, which she, she was in, in air quotes, but she wasn't the focus. And it's like, come on now. <laughs> yeah. But I also have an idea for a, a Zelda game where you play as Ganon, but Ganon's a good guy this time. So my idea is that, you know, let's say um, it gets to a point where, you know, people are aware that, like, Ganon tends to be reborn and, like, the, the only male Gerudo. Um, mm. So they just started killing male Gerudos when they were born oh yikes but then as, but then at some point one of the the Gerudo is just like no we can't just murder these babies and like takes the baby and runs off and like mm. and like raises him 
So he turns out to be a decent person, but Demise is still like in there somewhere. But Demise right. has a different plan from usual. And what he's going to do is he's going to um, put Gan in a situation where people, you know, people know that he's probably, you know, the evil Ganondorf. So when they, you know, when he forces him to reveal himself, they send in Link and Zelda, but Demise like takes over Link's body and Link becomes the villain. And Ganon has to work with Zelda to stop Link. And in the end, they're going to have to kill Link because oh. there's no other way to stop him. And Ganon, I feel like that would just be very interesting to flip the script and have Ganon be the main playable character and be the hero. Yeah. Yeah. Be really fun. But yeah, we, 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 I just, I want someone other than Link to be the main character. <laughs> For real. Hyrule Warriors doesn't count. <laughs> yeah. Hyrule Warriors does not count. <laughs> 